Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Thursday the 24th of June comes to you from London. And mostly green on the screen. Uh, we're seeing commodities uh, quite red there. So, uh, But we start by looking at currencies, then uh, stock markets, commodities and last of all energy, um, especially European energy. So we start by looking at the dollar index first of all. Dollar had a very strong week last week. This is my weekly chart, my daily chart and my 60 minute chart. Long term, medium term and short term view of the market. With the clouds, if we're above the cloud we're bullish, if we're below the cloud we're bearish. It's mainly that simple. And then uh, the corresponding point and figure target. So uh, we see that the dollar has been bearish for quite a long time but we are looking at putting in a higher low here. And uh, the thing to watch for now is a move above 93.50 on the dollar index to give us the higher high. And we're seeing that recovery on the dollar quite strong. That was the low back in January and we've put it up a, a higher level in May. So there are signs that this is turning. We do have a downside target here, not yet activated. So for the moment, we're looking for a recovery in the dollar. Euro dollar sitting at 119.30. Bounced on the cloud, uh, that will be very interesting to see whether we can go below that. So bouncing there is strong support. We are short term bullish again back above the cloud and the long term is bullish. But we are watching out for a move below that low that would activate further downside targets. The dollar yen chart is the sort of lead indicator and we are seeing the dollar uh, here punching new highs against the yen. So that makes us think that we might well see the dollar making new highs against other currencies as well. Against sterling we're sitting at 139.73. We do still have targets to the high 140s, 150. Again bouncing on the cloud. It'll be very interesting to see whether we go lower. That's the key there. Against the euro, sterling is 117. Uh, looking stronger still. Bullish on all three time frames. Sterling has the upper hand here still. Bitcoin in the doldrums at $33,000 and uh, just sitting there at the moment. Holding that support level. That's going to be the key thing there. The S&P 500 index. Uh, it was down very slightly last night, still bullish above the cloud on all three time frames, just really just struggling to push and make new highs. Is this trend running out of steam? Not yet showing up on the weekly chart. The Nasdaq, a similar picture, of course. The futures this morning are up, uh, so we should see the US market open strongly. Uh, we are up 0.45% on the S&P and up 0.6% on the uh, Nasdaq. This data is coming from Refinitiv Icon. If you're a private user, the Metastock Zener feed is exactly the same. Uh, and it's a really good uh, feed for, um, and you can follow me with those, uh, that service. The uh, VIX volatility is down to 15. That's the lowest level it's been for a while. And so the fear index is really coming off. We're bearish on all three time frames. So the markets are not fearful. FTSE future is flat this morning. The, the DAX in Germany, the cash market is up two thirds of a percent. The CAC current is up just under 1%. So looking strong there. Japan was down slightly. And if we look at the Hang Seng, we were up a quarter of a percent, virtually unchanged in China. And the Sensex in India are up just under 1%, looking stronger there, pushing to those new highs. The Aussie market was weaker. The resource laden um, stocks here just falling away down a third of a percent. As we saw, we've been down predominantly. We'll look at energy in a minute, but just looking at the soft commodities, we've got wheat down 1%. Uh, corn down one percent. These trends are very strongly up in the long term, but we are just seeing uh, this playing out. We have a triangle pattern building here that will be key. Gold is recovering, um, very flat recovery though, finding support on the cloud. Uh, so we need to watch and wait for that. Silver uh, is up 0.4 percent, platinum down half a percent, and palladium, which had a very big fall. Uh, last week we see that 10% move in a day is recovering off the cloud. Again, we need to hold that low. Uh, taking a look at the energy mix now, Brent crude holding that $75 mark. This target to 96.40 is still there and we can't. That's that move there, the pullback and the move higher. So we can't ignore the fact that we've got upside targets for crude oil and quite a lot on the short term chart. If you're trading crude, keep an eye on the one minute charts. The WTI chart, similar. US Nat Gas sitting at 332, holding its trend as well, looking stronger there. Coal pulling back slightly, but at 84.60, nudging new highs here. Trend is very much up. And emissions 
pushing higher up half a percent and through that critical 54 euro mark so that's quite key we see here that we actually broke that uh, resistance level and looking stronger uh, we'll see in the minute the German power chart is actually making new highs so uh, quite key there UK emissions looking stronger as well crossing the 60 minute chart for the first time since their launch last month and we've got good upside targets still to play for 47 is the target there keep an eye on the one minute charts uh, MVP is up 0.6% uh, and uh, TTF up 0.8% Watch the one minute targets on your OTC charts. But here we see on the ICE contract we're pushing higher there as well. Uh, German power, as I mentioned, is making new highs. This is the highest level we've seen in more than a decade for German power, looking very strong there. And if we look at uh, Nordic power, also up 2.4% on the Cal, uh, so looking strong. That's uh, Norwegian power, sorry, Nordic, um, Dutch power. Nordic power pushing higher, uh, but still down on the quarterly, so um, not doing as well as German power. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.